Hey there, Chris from the Mighty Decibel here. Welcome back. It's the end of a month, which means it's time for us to name our favorite albums of August 2023 across the four categories we cover here. Those being extreme metal, doom metal, hardcore punk, and hard and heavy. So it was a great month as you're about to see, so let's get straight into it. So straight into extreme metal now and flying the black metal banner for us as our highlighted record of August is Montreal Quebec Destroyers Complot who have a new EP called Obeisance. Uh, so if your tastes venture towards Wall of Sound Black Death, uh, you'll need to check out this uh, nine minutes three tracker. Uh, it contains zero let up. You're basically uh, sonically pressed against a wall for the duration while the vocalist gurglings whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Uh, war metal hell. thrash metal now where we have two highlighted records to talk about the first being seasons dreaming death the debut full length from indianapolis unit grave ripper so uh what you get for this 10 track 33 minute outing is some energetic uh, black speed thrash heavy on the bass uh, giving it a semblance of some crossover thrash as well uh, so quite the concoction altogether definitely one that will get heads banging and ragers raging Good stuff. energy all around thrash metal up your ass next from Finnish destroyers necro weasel with their six full length feel the speed so you know it's going to be good when uh, the band's mascot is a scary looking weasel uh, carrying a flying V guitar and necro weasel don't disappoint here with a raging display of no holds barred metal that will appease the hardcore thrashers out there kicks Metallica's ass till sundown To our third category under the extreme metal banner that being death metal so as soon as i heard that the mighty martin van drunen of asphyx fame was at the mic my my ears perked up to receive the debut full length from otherwise german outfit rotten casket an album called zombie cron 
So in my opinion, the premier death metal vocalist of our age, uh, Van Drunen, doesn't disappoint here, growling in his unique fashion with aplomb. However, let's not forget the amazing songwriting here, uh, the buzzsaw guitar sending splinters everywhere, like in Tomb's Left Hand Path, uh, amazing stuff here. Getting your he head uh, ripped off rarely sounds this good. Enjoy. things down now into the world of doom uh, so were you one of the ones that was drooling over the early mood self-titled debut last year if you were you're hereby ordered to check out the banishing by Italian stoner unit bottomless so great Sabbatharian riffage populates this affair slow and and uh, up tempos mix just right uh, along with those requisite mid-song time changes that Iomi littered across all those early Sabbath albums, great headbanging doom that never gets old. Let's get wild and crazy again and move into hardcore punk and this genre continues to kick ass uh, this year i have no less than four highlighted records to talk about uh, first up being indiana hardcore outfit velocity uh, with their seven track release simply entitled demo 2023 uh, so first thing that jumps out at you is the desperate vocals here that evokes images of someone placing a megaphone to your head screaming their their grievances in your ear for 10 minutes straight and musically it's speedy hardcore punk that is bound to get pits moving in a live setting exciting stuff without love comes lupus with their i'm not even going to try and pronounce it uh, 10 tracker of an unhinged hardcore punk so first off you uh, get some ultra fast riffage with the odd melodic passage uh, that explodes when the vitriolic vo vocals take center stage truly these must be the rantings of someone who has faced some significant life challenges <laughs> crazed and loving it <laughs> Power is the 
Definitely our fave straight up hardcore uh, release of the month comes from LA, California's Berthold City, who last landed on uh, very high on our 2022 uh, year end hardcore punk list uh, with their kick ass When Words Are Not Enough. So now they're back again in action with a full length made up of three new tracks along with two previously issued EPs. So despite this being somewhat of a piecemeal concoction, uh, the album stands together, hangs together uh, well and shows just how strong Berthold City's writing skills are. Powerful stuff. Check it out. last of our highlighted hardcore punk releases for August is uh, another band that landed high on one of our uh, year-end lists this one from 2021 it's hope with their blistering dead and gone release so now this Portland ba based unit is back in action with a four-track EP called your perception is not my reality uh, so the, the band is still in heated agitation mode here. Musically, it's a cross between D-beat and bulldozing hardcore punk while lyrically remaining anti-capitalist to the core. The hatred and desperation is palpable here. our fourth and final category hard and heavy which is basically everything that is heavy that doesn't fit in our first three categories but mostly we focus on uh, hard rock trad metal power metal uh, punk rock uh, anything of that nature rock and roll uh, so this month probably was one of the best uh, for hard and heavy of the year today we got three highlighted records and the first one is going to take you back to the 70s it's Tales from the Black Spire by UK's Phantom Spell. And specifically, this two-track EP delves in the prog rock stylings of Styx, uh, the Grand Illusion specifically. So there's swirling keyboards with dramatic guitar and vocal passages, a throwback to a simpler era. Interesting concept too, this being a journey through the mind of a deteriorating wizard. So old school hard rockers should check this one out.
Our next highlighted hard and heavy record takes us back to another era as well. Uh, that being Until the End of Time by Greek unit Fair Fight. So push play and memories of the new wave of British heavy metal come flooding back. The youthful energy and excitement is spot on. Uh, but it's the vocals of hands uh, that really brings it home. Uh, come across somewhat uh, like Jess Cox of Tigers of Pantang fame. His warbling delivery uh, provides that extra dose of originality and innocence. So you get three original tracks here along with a cover of Witch Finds Give Em Hell. Damn fun. Finishing out the three highlighted uh, hard and heavy records of August of 2023 is uh, Portland unit Death Ridge Boys with an album called Too Much Bullshit. So we're talking melodic, up-tempo, punk rock of the highest quality here that's both bouncy and catchy as hell. So imagine early Dropkick Murphys uh, without the Celtic uh, influences, cross with the Ramones and Bad Religion. Sound interesting? Check it out here. <laughs> so it's my favorite re overall release of the month. So there you have it, the Mighty Decibels fave albums of August 2023. If we missed anything, please write down below so everybody can check it out. And remember to check in every Monday for our new release Mondays. Tuesdays we have our In 40 Minutes curated playlists. Wednesdays and Thursdays we have our live reviews. And the odd Thursdays we throw in our best of top tens, that sort of thing. And you know where to go, www.themightydecibel.com. Have a great one, eh? Bye.